Biomedical engineering is unique because it's the kind of major that allows you to improve people's health without the hefty medical school bill. If you're new here, my name is Tamer and I'm a final year engineering student at the University of Waterloo. I'll start off by giving you a basic rundown of the biomedical engineering program. I'll then talk about the kind of courses you're expected to take, the types of jobs you can get after graduating and what you'll be doing at those jobs. I'll also make sure to mention how much biomedical engineers can get paid, as well as the difference between biomedical engineering and biomedical sciences. You'll also find time stamps for everything in the description. Biomedical engineering is like taking concepts from biomechanics, physics, chemistry, biology, mechanical design, as well as electrical and computer engineering to be able to create biomedical systems. These systems include creating things like artificial bionic limbs, 3D printing organs, or you know, creating wearable tech for athletes. Think about it like this, being a doctor allows you to save one patient at a time, but working as a biomedical engineer gives you the opportunity to potentially save thousands if not millions of lives. Within biomedical engineering, there are three themes that you will be taught. Biomedical signals, biomechanics, and biomedical devices. Biomedical signals refers to understanding the electrical, chemical, and mechanical activity that occurs during any biological event like your heart beating or your muscle contracting. Biomechanics refers to understanding how the body moves, and biomedical devices refers to understanding how to design and build things like implants or artificial limbs. In biomedical engineering, these are the types of courses you're expected to take in your first year. You see that you have things like physics, chemistry, calculus, linear algebra. These are like fundamental courses in engineering because you know the purpose of first year engineering is to get everyone caught up on the fundamentals. An interesting course that biomedical engineering students take is data structures and algorithms. This course teaches you the basics of software engineering. So although you're studying biomedical engineering, there are still students who graduate from biomedical engineering and can work as software engineers. Once your first year is over, you'll move on to your second year and you'll be taking these courses. In 2A, you will notice that you have some mechanical engineering courses like mechanics of the vulnerable solids and material science. You also have some bio and a bit of math. In 2B, you take some electrical and computer engineering courses and some more bio. Then in 3rd year and 4th year, you'll be taking more specific biomedical engineering courses. So after looking at all the courses you're expected to take in your biomedical engineering degree, you notice you have a lot of mechanical, electrical, and software engineering courses with a little bit of biology. All this information combined can help you create biomedical systems. But because you're introduced to mechanical, electrical, and software engineering, you can actually end up you know, disregarding the biomedical engineering field completely after you graduate and just purely working as a mechanical, electrical, or even software engineer. So that does give you a little bit of flexibility with that degree. Now let me give you an example of how biomedical courses look like in engineering. So I'm a mechanical engineering student and I'm currently taking a biomechanics course at this semester as one of my technical electives just because I enjoy learning about it and it seemed interesting and here's how the course is organized. Now having a look at the course notes in the assignment, you see that the professor first teaches us fundamentals of the human body and human anatomy, you know the type of stuff that you will find in medical courses. We learn about all the different movements in the body, you know what the body can really do, all the bones in the body as well as the muscles and joints that we have. It also teaches about the composition of the bone as well as bone tissue and a bunch of other stuff like that. Now once we have that information down, you know the type of information that you just memorize, we'll start solving mathematical questions that will use the knowledge we just learned. For example, calculating how the load on your joints and muscles will change based on where you place a cane when walking. Or another example would be using math to determine how much load our bones will face if we add implants. So it's basically understanding like you know how human body works and applying math and physics onto it to solve and model real world problems. Once you graduate you can pursue careers in health, design, robotics or research. Under the health route you can get jobs like a microbiologist or epidemiologist. Under the design route you can be working on the mechanical design of biomedical devices. Under the robotic route you can be working on the software development or firmware engineering behind these devices. And finally, you can be doing research in labs on future biomedical technologies. So there is a lot of variation when it comes to the jobs available for biomedical engineering students. So it really depends on what area you're interested in the most. At the end of the day, you should realize that biotechnology basically involves you creating things that deal with the human body. You know, things like artificial limbs, pharmaceuticals, supplements, or even biofuel. Your engineering career may lead you to work at a startup tech company, private company, government, or even clinical labs. You may invent something like BioInk to provide faster 3D printing for kidneys or other organs. Or you may work at a company that helps amputees regain mobility by creating high-tech prosthetics. Now, let's be honest, making a positive impact on people's lives can be a nice and fulfilling career, but money matters. 
So let's look into how much money a biomedical engineer can make. The industry hires over 30,000 people in Canada, and that number is expected to grow by 23% over the next two years. So there isn't going to be a shortage of jobs in the biotech industry. And around the world, the industry will be worth over 775 billion US dollars by 2024. With that in mind, biomedical engineers can make anywhere between 60k to 90k if they're working in Canada, but that number can be so much higher if they choose to work in California and tech companies because over there, they could be making upwards of $100,000 as an entry-level engineer. Because it's a well-known fact that California pays really, really well, especially at those tech companies. But hey, you can start your own startup with your biomedical engineering knowledge, and if that succeeds, you could be making millions of dollars. Let me show you an example. Athos was a startup created by an engineer in his final year of his engineering studies. He created smart clothing that measures how hard your muscles are working during your workouts to give you insights in how your body is performing. This startup raised over $30 million in the past few years and is continuing to do really, really well. Anyways, the point of this is that money shouldn't be the deciding factor on what kind of a engineering you choose because it really varies from person to person and from company to company and the goal should really be to pick the kind of engineering that you enjoy the most. However, let's say you're interested in the biotech and biomedical industry but you're not sure whether you should pursue biomedical sciences or biomedical engineering. So let me break down that comparison. Biomedical science involves studying life from a medical perspective. You can expect to learn about the body, different types of diseases, how the body heals itself, genetics, and just basically understand how the body works. At the job, you'll be expected to deal with patients or be doing research. In school, you can expect to take courses like microbiology, human anatomy, biochemistry, human biology, physiology, pathology, pharmacology, neuroscience, etc. On the other hand, biomedical engineering involves applying the scientific knowledge behind how the body works to design and build medical devices. At the job, you'd be expected to work with devices, and in school, you'd be expected to take quite a few biology courses, but there'll be a larger emphasis on mechanical and electrical engineering courses, as we talked about earlier. For example, a surgeon will need to understand how the body works to be able to operate on it, but he'll use devices like artificial organs or surgical devices that will help them get the job done and these devices were designed and built by biomedical engineers. Think about it like this, biomedical science is more theoretical and biomedical engineering is more practical. It's like comparing chemistry and chemical engineering. A common question that may come to mind is if biomedical engineering is a good path to pursue if you want to become a doctor. Technically, yes, but it can be hard to take all the courses you need to apply to medical school. So if your goal is to become a doctor, then biomedical science would be a much better option than pursuing biomedical engineering. That's it for this video. I hope this video brought you value. If it did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.